Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own icon font sets uh, using the IcoMoon website and the IcoMoon app uh, and then upload it into Divi and start using them in the Visual Builder and in the standard backend builder um, and all that. So right now I'm on the IcoMoon website and I'm going to just go ahead and click on IcoMoon app. Um, and if you don't have an account, just go ahead and create a free account with IcoMoon. Um, there are premium plugins that you get access to, but uh, if you pay for them, but there's also a ton of good free icons. And uh, by default, this is the one that you see, the IcoMoon free um, uh, icon set. Uh, and if you want other ones, like I've added this one here, but um, you can just click on Add Icons from Library, and it will give you a bunch, and you'll see that there are some for purchase, but you'll also see some that just say Add, which means they're free. And they've got a ton of different icon sets here, um, all types of different things to fit... Uh, the look and feel of your website, whatever it may be. Um, but I've found the one that I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and go back, uh, this one. And just for this example, I'm just going to select these numbers because these are actually the numbers I'm going to use uh, on my website. I'm kind of creating a little step-by-step -step on how to do things. And really, I just want these numbers. I like them. I think they look cool. I don't really need all these other icons. So I'm just going to grab these guys right here. I've got nine selected. So now that I've got them selected, I'm actually going to go ahead um, and see if I can change the name of this project here. Um, yeah, untitled. Let's see if that will let me. Okay. And I'm just going to call this numbers here. And the reason that I'm doing this, I could just download it and leave it. Um, and leave it untitled if I want. The reason that I'm not doing that, let's see if I go, um, let's go back. The only reason that I'm not doing that is because when I download it, I want it, this to be the name of the font. And I can change that later, but it just might be easier doing it now. So um, name your project, whatever you'd like, because again, remember each icon set has to have a unique name. Otherwise, if you're uploading files that have similar names from different icon sets, they'll just overwrite each other in Divi. So. Um, I'm going to click on Generate Font. Yeah, see, so it's called Number. Um, I don't really care what the name of these are. It really doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to click on Download. And by default, it gives us the zip called Some New Icon. So let me click on it here. And we'll see that we have our fonts here and then our style CSS. Yeah, see, so Some New Icons. I don't really want it called that because if I get other icon fonts in the future from... Ico Moon, they're all going to be named this, and they again, I, I want the, this to be something different because I don't want it accidentally overwritten in the future. So I'm actually just going to call this one Numbers, and I'm going to rename all four of these files here to the same thing. Oops. And then remember, I'm also going to name my style sheet instead of style.css. I'm going to make this Numbers numbers.css uh, because all these always have to have the exact same name and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to um, my uh, Divi upload icons back end and actually just to show you I'll be on the front end here and we'll take a look at what's available already and if I come down here and I go to uh, image and icon you'll see that I've got my elegant themes icons and then that's it it just ends at the gif and then if I click on uh, filter, these are my only options here. So uh, let's go ahead and upload these guys. I'm going to open this back up. And I'm just going to drag all of these up here, all my font files, including my CSS file. I'm just going to drag it right in there. And we'll see that they're going to start getting uploaded here. There we go, nine additional icons, and that's all I had in my IcoMoon app. If we go back and look, we only had nine, so perfect. It's uploaded my nine additional icons. Now, if I go ahead and refresh this page here, they'll be available in my Divi Builder or my Visual Builder. So let's go ahead and test it out. Image and icon. Here's all my elegant themes icons, and if I come down here, here are my numbers that I just pulled. So now I've got these. These are available for me to use. Uh, and then if I click filter icons, I can only see my numbers if I want, or only see elegant themes, or all of them. So anyway, now these numbers are good to go. I'm good to use them throughout my project however I want. So 
All right, guys, let me know if you get stuck and uh, happy designing.